Welcome to part one of a three-part video series that we're going to do on using Bollinger Bands. In this first video, we're going to look at the basics of Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands were created by John Bollinger and are an extremely popular technical analysis tool that you can find in just about any charting program on the market. To learn more about them, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at his book called Bollinger on Bollinger Bands and also visit his website up at BollingerBands.com. To get started, let's take a look at this chart of GE. To plot Bollinger Bands on this chart, from your indicator drop-down list, just scroll down until you find the Bollinger Bands and drag them directly on top of the price bars. Now, for this particular example, we'll go ahead and use all the default settings, which are 20 time periods, two standard deviations, no horizontal shift. We'll use a simple method of calculation of the moving average, and we'll base it off the closing price. I'll click on OK. And whenever you get prompted of how you're going to plot a moving average on a price chart, you always want to merge it with the scale. If you choose to overlay it without a scale, what you'll find is, is that the indicator will not be plotted correctly. So in this case, I'll choose Merge with a Scale on the right and click on OK. This will plot our Bollinger Bands. And inside the Bollinger Bands here, the middle line is the simple or the 20 period simple moving average that we chose in the settings. The upper and lower bands are the same moving average, but they're shifted in this case by two standard deviations. The Bollinger Bands can be used in a lot of different ways, but they're designed to really encompass the movement of the price chart. What you'll notice is, is that the bands will track the price movements of the security, whether the prices are moving up, whether they're moving down, or sideways. And during times of high volatility, the bands will expand or widen. And in times of lower volatility, the bands will narrow or constrict. The primary ways to interpret this indicator to help you trade is to identify how the prices move and how these bands react to those movements. Mr. Bollinger identifies a number of different types of price movements with these bands. If the prices move outside of the bands, a lot of times the prices will continue to move in that same direction. Moves that originate inside of the band a lot of times will move to the opposite band. And one of the most popular patterns to look for are a tightening of the bands. A lot of the time the prices will break sharply after these bands constrict. And the constriction of these bands means that the volatility has dropped down. And a lot of times what will happen is, is that then when the prices break out of this constriction or this congestion, a lot of times they'll move really quick. In the next video in this series, I'll show you how you can create your own custom indicator that you can use to identify the different shapes of the Bollinger Bands. So I hope that this has been helpful, and for more Metastock training, please visit us at www.learnmetastock.com.